Hello folks, this video is going to explain how to read data from a ThingSpeak channel using an ESP32 or an 8266. To begin the process we need to go to channels and this is a channel I've got set up called test channel and we're concentrating on API keys section and that will give us an example of how to read the data. So if it's a uh, public channel, a highlight there, the public channel you have to call the ThingSpeak server with your channel number. So this is the HTML get line. This is the command that's sent over to the ThingSpeak server. And uh, just to re re reiterate that it's a public channel, it's the channel number. The number at the end, results equals five, is, is the number of results that I'm going to request in this example. So five readings from the channel, please. Um, and that's that's just an extract from the API text. Have to use your channel number to read a public channel. Those are four examples that ThingSpeak give you. We're using this example here. And it returns a JSON string. Uh, if you're reading a private channel, you have to use the read API key and uh, there's the difference but it's pretty much the same command but with the channel number replaced with a read API key again extract from the text there that's what the server will respond with some header text with uh, HTML response code 200 good good response it all worked and then the JSON encoded uh, channel data. So this is the bit we're interested in, the bit that's now highlighted. All the rest is superfluous. So here is the data now with the headers removed. We just concentrate on the the JSON string and it's already quite readable. Here it is now in a more formatted layout. So the channel, it's got an ID number, it's got a name, it's got a latitude, longitude, field names, last update and, the, and it always gives you the last entry ID which is 85 in this case. The data itself is in a in a structure called feeds but note there are square brackets to denote that if the data is held in a pseudo array format. So arrays 1, 2, 3, 4, 0 through to 4. There are four array array values readings 81, 82, 83, 84 and 85. This is what the, the, the structure is more akin to. So it has a root name and then that root is subdivided into fields and values, fields and values throughout. Then there is a subroot name and this time structured as an array. So the square brackets there I'm highlighting and then array entry zero is in red, one is in yellow and so on. So to address those array values it's the subroot name and then the array number and I'll give an example of that in a short while. So zero, one, two, three and four array values because we requested five values. On the left hand side is the JSON text and on the right hand side is how you structure the JSON decoder objects. So the root of the JSON text is called channel so you set the root to channel that's the start of the reading process. The root of the channel data and that channel has uh, entries called ID and name, uh, altitude, sorry, latitude, longitude, etc. So if you want to get the ID number, you say it's root, root data ID and it will return 3200984 for you and so on. To move further down the data, we reset the root to feeds and uh, there we go. So the root is now feeds. And um, so remember this is in now in array format. So 
um, to get to chat the first array entry we put square bracket zero for the second second one down would be one all the way down through to four so those square brackets are very important so here's the same thing in uh, using C some source code for the C so you can see how how it's being structured we set the root as channel we read the ID um, and the name and the field one name and then we move ourselves down to feeds and then cycle through the five results with a four next loop where the four next loop counter is called result and that will move us down through the five array entries and display the results obviously those values could be assigned to um, other variables or an array for graphing or something on your device that's what the program output looks like it gives a copy of the um, JSON text with the headers removed and then the five values are printed out on my github here are some examples for the ESP32 or the 8266 for you to uh, use and enjoy I hope you found that useful